संगीता एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ डेंटल पाचा वेर वी हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न डेंटिस्ट्री बेटर एंड इजी वे एंड टुडे टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द लेवल्स ऑफ प्रिवेंशन द प्राइमोडियल लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन प्राइमरी लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन सेकेंडरी लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन टर्सरी लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन वट यू मीन बाय दीज लेवल्स ऑफ प्रिवेंशन सपोज वी आर गोइंग टू टेक एन एग्जाम्पल सो वट हैपन्स वेन यू पास इज योर ट्वेल्थ एग्जाम then your parents want you not to go to such a college that you start drinking habit you start smoking habit so they suggest you to take up a seat which is close by to your college right so this is a kind of primordial level of prevention in which the we are reducing the risk factor we are reducing the factor which can lead to a disease so that is going to be a primordial primary level of prevention that means when you enter the college your senior tells that you are not going to drink or smoke so that is going to be a primary level of prevention that means you you are not letting the disease happen you are not letting the alcohol or the smoking habit happen so that is going to be a primary level of prevention then what is secondary level of prevention secondary level of prevention is the level of prevention now you you have started smoking or drinking so what i am going to tell you i am going to tell you either to quit the smoking or drinking or i am going to tell you or any of the parents or any seniors are going to tell you that to cut it down to reduce it now the tertiary level of prevention is because of the smoking habit after so many years like my grandfather he has been smoking from so many years now that we tell him to at least cut it down now because he is unable to breathe properly because of this long term smoking habit because of this habit because of the disease there is lot of disability there are lot of disabilities because he cannot climb stairs because he cannot breathe properly so because of these habits it develop disease to a extreme to a severe level to an extreme level that case we this is a limitation which the disease is causing so that is of the prevention which is done during at this stage is going to be the tertiary level of prevention so this video guys we are going to talk about the levels of prevention so before further ado let's get started <laughs> So guys before we get started make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos so talking about the level of prevention see uh, level of prevention are the levels at which we at which we are preventing the disease either it can be early or it can be late level of prevention in order to make you understand let me give you an example to make it understand to make it easier for you suppose if liver cirrhosis is due to the alcohol consumption so the primary level is going to be when your parents are suggesting you to join such a college which is closer to your house so that you don't develop the habit of drinking so this is when you are preventing the risk factor is going to be the primary level of prevention then comes that is the primordial level of prevention then comes the primary level of prevention so primary level of prevention is that when you are in internship and you are you have started going to a lot of parties so that case i make sure that i am making a habit and developing a habit for you to drink lot of juices so that you don't you don't join you don't um, start drinking alcohol so this is wherein i am doing the health promotion changing the habits to more healthier way that is going to be a primary level of prevention next come the secondary level of prevention now that you have passed your bds and now you have started uh, going to parties you have started little bit drinking here and there with the friends okay now this level of prevention is when you are at early stages then i can ask you to quit right because you are at early stages so this is a level of prevention if i ask you to quit at early stages is going to be the secondary level of prevention now you you have kids you have crossed 35 years of age you have a well settled clinic so now after 40 years 35 years now when you are you have you are keep on drinking for years 
and there are little bit signs here and there of liver cirrhosis that you know and that level of prevention when i ask you to just drink a small peg daily right so that level of prevention is our tertiary prevention when the disease is at advanced stages i hope that now you guys are clear with all the levels of prevention so talking about the primordial level of prevention so this is a prevention which is we are stopping we are preventing the emergence of risk factor so we are not letting the risk factor to develop such as also i can give you example if we compare it with the corona virus then making a good hygiene will be a kind of it is not a uh, that is we are stopping the risk factor so quarantine is kind of a primary prevention in which we are not letting people go outside so that disease won't develop right so which is these are the primary quarantine is when actions are taken before the onset of a disease so that the disease won't develop so these actions are taken right and action are taken before the risk factor is going to be the primordial so primordial prevention is receiving a special attention in case of prevention of any chronic disease right so like alcohol smoking all these smoking cessation programs then alcohol quit programs like that in the primordial prevention efforts are directed toward discouraging the children to leave the harmful lifestyle right so the main intervention in the primordial prevention is either through the individual level or mass education that is the primordial level of prevention talking about primary level of prevention now this is the action which is taken so it can be defined as the action which is taken prior to the onset of the disease so which remove the possibility of having the disease so we don't want the disease to occur so we are removing the possibility of the disease so now that you have starting going to parties so now um i send you for the rural posting this is a kind of a primary prevention so if this is a kind of prevention which is done in order to remove the possibility of having the disease now the concept includes concept of positive health so that means uh, developing good habits so the concept of primary prevention or intervention is now applied in the prevention of chronic diseases such as coronary heart disease hypertension cancer these are based on the eliminating the risk factor of the disease or we can say modification of the risk factor of the disease right next comes the secondary level of prevention see primary level of prevention if you talk about vaccines are basically the primary level of prevention so primary level of prevention that you are giving vaccine suppose you are giving polio vaccine to less than 2 years you are giving vaccine so that after 2 years there is no development of the polio so this is a kind of a primary prevention most of the vaccines are an example of the primary prevention right coming to the secondary level of prevention now we do pit and fissure sealants in dentistry when we are doing pit and fissure sealants we are protecting the deep fissures which are present on the occlusal surfaces we are preventing it from having the caries dental caries so before the development of dental caries all these deep areas wherein the food can go and it can cause caries we are preventing it and we are making it shallow so that is also an example of the primary prevention right now comes the secondary prevention secondary prevention is the action that stops the progress of the disease in the initial stages of the disease so when the disease is in the initial stages the actions the prevention which we are doing to stop the disease is going to be the early is going to be the secondary prevention which is done at the initial stages or we can say the incipient stages and which can prevent the complication of the disease so the secondary prevention is largely the domain of clinical medicines the medicines which we are giving at the early stages it is most expensive and least effective than the primary prevention because now the disease has occurred now we are just stopping this disease in order for the progression of the disease to, in order for the severity of the disease so all the health programs which are initiated by the government usually fall at the level of secondary prevention all the health programs government health programs we can see right health program are an example of the secondary level of prevention 
so we are stopping because the society has started drinking society has started smoking now that we don't want to progress it to the severity now we want the secondary level of prevention right now the secondary level of prevention it contains constitutes of early diagnosis and the prompt treatment next comes the tertiary prevention now that disease has advanced to its severe form right when the disease progress progression is into the advanced stages it is beyond the early stages early stages prevention at the early stage was at the secondary level the tertiary level is when the disease has progressed to its advanced stage or the severe stage it is still possible to accomplish the prevention at the tertiary level of prevention that is we are going to do the intervention in the late stages of the disease for example i can say the treatment uh the treatment even if the if, if the undertaken late in the natural history of the disease may prevent the sequelae suppose tertiary treatment is the intervention which is done at the late stages right suppose if we are talking about polio vaccine we have given at the primary stages treatment we are giving at the secondary stages now because of the polio the child Uh, the child is not able to is become handicapped he is not able to get up from the bed so giving the physiotherapy making the child self sustaining sustainable is the tertiary prevention this is the limitation disability limitation we don't want that the person develops the disability that the the normal activity of the patient get hampers so this is the rehabilitation as well as removing the disability self making the patient or the person self sustainable right this is the tertiary level of prevention so this is the disability limitation or the rehabilitation so guys these are the levels of prevention and if we give examples of dentistry now tertiary level prevention is going to be implants or the root canal treatment i can say or you can say any periodontal surgery any minor tooth movement rpd fpds all the rfpds fixed will come into the tertiary level of prevention either it is implant or anything even the extraction will come under the tertiary level of prevention because that is the extreme this is the extreme level of advancement you have to extract the disease then scaling and curettage comes under the secondary level of prevention and also preventive resin restorations and simple restorative procedure like filling and all will also come under the secondary level of prevention and primary level of prevention is the health education of course the health promotion the specific protection so we are giving pit and fissure sealants we are doing caries activity test all the form of fluoride which you are giving to the child in order to prevent caries will come under the primary prevention i hope that and also mouth guards in case of a sports person that is also a level of uh, prevention in fact daily tooth brushing is also a level of primary prevention because you are preventing the all the diseases all the diseases which are related to the plaque all the diseases which are related to the calculus so that also will come under the primary prevention then supervising the school brushing program will also come in the primary prevention so guys these all are the levels of prevention the primordial level primary level secondary level and the tertiary level this is before the risk factor this one is before the disease so primordial is before the risk factor preventing the risk factor primary is preventing the disease secondary is preventing the severity of disease tertiary is we don't want the patient to be bedridden we don't want the patient uh, to limit like bedridden matlab that means extraction you will tell ma'am extraction the patient won't just lie down on the bed so but the normal activities are going to hamper so that that the prevention of that will come under the tertiary prevention suppose if patient has no teeth then the patient will be kind of disabled because he won't be able to eat properly from the mouth so when we are doing the prevention of that so when we are rehabilitating will come under the tertiary level of prevention right the severe form of disease when we are intervening the severe when we are preventing the severe form that will come under the tertiary level of prevention so guys these are the levels of prevention the primordial primary secondary and the tertiary level of prevention done at during different stages of life different stages of disease i hope that you guys have enjoy the video 
your concepts are clear with the level of prevention and if you have enjoyed the video like the video then hit the like button and also you can comment in the comment section below if you enjoy our channel and you haven't subscribed to it then what man what are you waiting for subscribe to the channel to get free videos free interesting videos like this and also now in the description box below you have a chance to support me on patreon as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes so guys till then keep reading keep learning and stay safe i will see you guys in the next video